Hi everybody, I'm Lisa behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to be opening up this mystery package from China. It will be an unbagging, we'll call it. But before I do that, let me give you a little history. Let's go back to May 16th, 2020, when I received a message from a company called Sandflare on Instagram. They sent me a message indicating that they wanted me to be a brand ambassador for their company. With that, I could go on the website and pick out one free bathing suit and a free piece of jewelry, anything I wanted. Additionally with that, I was going to get my own personalized code that I could give to friends and family that they could use on their website to get 50% off anything they wanted to purchase. If any of my friends or family decided to use that code, I would get a commission. I thought that was really cool. I went on the website, picked a bathing suit, picked some jewelry, was really, really excited about this opportunity. Two days later, I got an email from Sandflare indicating my items had already shipped but they were coming from China. So it was going to take two to four weeks before I would receive my items. That was gonna be a little while, but I was still so excited to get this that I just put that email aside. I kept the tracking number that they gave me, kept an eye on my package, and was excited for the day that it arrived. As of May 24th, it showed that my items had arrived at the Shanghai airport. It also indicated that they should be shipping out to California soon. I kept an eye on the tracking and as of June 16th, nothing had changed. Everything had remained the same. So it had been a while sitting in Shanghai. I decided to send an email to the company just to check in and make sure there wasn't any concern. I didn't receive a response. Interestingly though, the next day, I received an email from the company asking me to provide them with a review of the items they had sent me. That concerned me because that led me to believe that they thought I should have already received the items. I replied to that email letting them know I still haven't received anything, the tracking shows that the items appear to still be in Shanghai at the airport, can you provide me with an update? I received no response to either of the emails that I sent to the company. By July 9th, I was talking to Bill about it and I started feeling like maybe this was a scam, maybe there was you know, something that I didn't realize, something wrong with the company. So I decided to contact my bank, which was Bank of America, let them know that I had paid this shipping and that I felt the company maybe had scammed me. So they opened an investigation. Two days later, I received a response from Bank of America that they had refunded the money that I had paid for the shipping. And I moved on with my life continued my day to day and just figured that this item would never show up. On August 6th, Bill and I went to downtown Disney and when we got back, there was a note on our door from the US Postal Service. The note on the door indicated that they had a delivery for us that we needed to sign for. It also indicated that the item was mailed from Chino, was what the writing looked like. Recently, Bill and I had been to Chino looking at some homes that we were really, really interested in. We believed that the agent was sending us a package about the home with some paperwork and things for us to fill out. A couple of days later, we went to the post office to pick up our paperwork that had been shipped to us from Chino. And lo and behold, it was actually my package from China. It says right on it, China Post. <laughs> I was very, very surprised when I signed for this package. It arrived three months almost after ordering it. So now I'm very interested to see what this actually looks like. My friend Robin is here. Come over, Robin. Come join me on the set, Robin. So I'm going to open the package so that we can check out the items that were sent and let you know what we think. I'm so excited. I know, I am too. <laughs> I never thought it was gonna arrive. Okay, let's see. It's like Christmas. Right? All right. So first, oh, it's, it is, it's packaged oh, nicely. Nice. All right, we have, ooh, a necklace. So it looks like this goes like that. Very cute. All right, a necklace that I want to take out and let's see what it looks like. It's very pretty. I like it. Let's see if I can get it clasped. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Is it nice? It's very nice. Okay, cute. 
That was the first item. Let's see, what's this? This is a little $20 gift card to their website. That's bonus. nice. That's a nice bonus, something I wasn't expecting. Sand flare. And, wow. Comes in a little bit. That's a really nice packaging. Sandy. Yeah. This actually could be used to take if you are going somewhere to go swimming and then you want to be able to put your wet bathing suit in something plastic and secure. That's a nice idea, sand flare. I'm actually impressed with that. And here is the bathing suit. Oh, I like it. I do too. All right, I'm going to try it on. I'll be right back. Ta-da! Here is the bathing suit. I really like this rip striped ribbony uh, detail. It's actually kind of like an elastic with the cutout here. There's also a cutout here. Solid black back. I have tried on plenty of bathing suits this summer to be able to tell you what I feel about the quality of this bathing suit. I actually think it is well made. It is quite comfortable. It feels like everything is going to stay in place, especially the straps, which is really nice. I like the little bit of detail just to give it some originality. I also like that Robin picked the perfect <laughs> shirt to wear over today, not knowing that we were gonna coordinate so well. I didn't think this package was ever going to arrive, but I am glad that it did finally arrive. Are you I'm, gonna pay him? Uh, yes, I'm gonna pay him. I'm happy with, <laughs> I'm happy that it actually came. The only reason that I contacted my bank and asked them to refund me was because I thought it was a scam. I thought the items were never going to arrive and I believed that I had paid for something that was never coming. But it appears that I was wrong. Yeah. What do you think about the necklace? It looks really cute together. I really like it. Three, was, three months is a long time to wait. <laughs> it's long. a really long time. I was is really, it a little big? A little bit, yeah. That's why I think it's bunching up a little bit right in here. It still looks good. Oh, it's all perfect time because you know that summer it's hard to find bathing suits. Right? <laughs> that made a good time. <laughs> that is so true. We have made a good effort to find more bathing suits. And then you didn't notice probably, but there's a little SF on the back right here that's... Um, oh, for sand yeah, flare. For sand flare. It's, it's really hard to see, but oh, it's right here. That's nice. I like when companies put their logo or their name somewhere on the bathing suit. That is something that I've pointed out in videos in the past that I do like. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you... Um, Do you give the bathing suit a thumbs up? I, I give the bathing suit a thumbs up. Even though I think it's a little big, that's not the bathing suit or the company's fault. I think it's a nice quality and I'm happy with it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.